Hi, we're John and Melanie. So you're wondering how to take cuttings from your marguerites. Well, in this video, we're going to show you how. Hi, we're John Horsey Horticulture, helping you develop your gardening skills by bringing you weekly tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing. And if you'd like to download a free guide to monthly tasks in the garden, the link is in the description below. Well, here we've got uh, a plant generally called marguerites, but it's actually it's an argaranthemum. Uh, it's well known by its, common, by its a variety name, which is Jamaica Primrose. Uh, this plant was a small cutting put in in the um, spring, and you can see it's done really very well. However, it's not really reliably hardy. It may overwinter in a mild winter, so to be on the safe side, we take some cuttings now, which will um, make sure we have plenty of stock for next year. So we start looking for suitable cutting material. The problem with a plant like this is that it keeps flowering and flowering and that doesn't give us much in the way of suitable cutting material. So what we have to do is we have to take some flowering shoots which we can take for cuttings. Uh, unfortunately there are very few decent shoots without flowers on them so we can use this one here. It's got quite a lot of good growth on there. If I take it off close at the bottom uh, I can then use that for a cutting later on. Let's see if we can find another one. Here's another one down there. We'll take that off. That's a couple, and we'll see if we can find a few more up here. Oh, not a very good one there, and that one will do. So what we've got is active growth, at least if they're flowering there, they're, they're actively growing, and those are quite nice little cuttings that we can use uh, to overwinter. Right, so now we're going to uh, prepare these cuttings. Uh, it's a shame to have to cut the flowers off, but. It's, we, we, we just have to, otherwise the, the effort will go into the flower and setting front set seeds as opposed to growing. So the flower has to be cut off. We'll go back to a fairly firm uh, junction there. So just nice clean cuts. Off it comes. There we are. There's your the little cutting. We pull some of these bottom leaves off. That's a nice size cutting. That's just about right. I'm going to tidy up the bottom by taking out the, that'll be in the ground about there, and there's a node there. You can see the node where the um, little leaf was attached, cut just below there, and um, nice clean cut. There we are, ready to go in. And rather, in goes your finger, there's a hole, in it goes, bit of firming, and there's our first one in. We'll work our way around the pot with these. Um, Bottom leaves off there. Bit of a trim at the bottom. Can we tight there? Surprisingly tough considering how um, fresh they are. And there, we'll tidy that off. Take the tucker off. Another little hole, in it goes. And that way we'll just work our way around the, the pot. So here we are, we filled the pot up. We've got our nice little cuttings. Uh, they'll need a very good water and then we'll leave them. We'll leave them with a bag over the top to keep the, the moisture in. We don't want them to dry out too much, but we don't want them too wet. So what, if you do put a bag on them, keep an eye on it. Make sure it doesn't get too humid. Otherwise you'll get all sorts of fungus going in there and all horrible things which will kill them. Uh, keep them just moist over winter and you'll probably see in a couple months time they'll start to perk up. You'll see the new shoots coming and you know you've got your little plants which can stay in this pot uh, really, uh, as long as they're frost free until the spring when we'll pot them on and uh, put them into pots and grow them on for the next year's growth and, and flowering. Are there any struggles you're having in the garden that we can help you with? Do let us know if there are any videos you would like to see. So if you are new here and you haven't subscribed and you've appreciated this video, do consider subscribing. And if you haven't downloaded your free guide yet, please jump on the link below. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.